Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and we are back with my friend Tommy Dreezy, who I'm super stoked about. If you guys haven't seen Tommy before, we've shot two episodes with him now. Tommy's a professional race car driver as well as a real true automotive enthusiast and a, I would say a highly discriminating one based on the vehicles that you own. And this is a real 69Z28 RSSS, right? Yes. My first car growing up was a hand-me-down Camaro, 69 Camaro with a regular 327 coupe. Yeah. And it was pretty old and my brother crashed it and my dad fixed it and had it ready for me. And I promised myself one day I'd get a Z28. And we always said, God drives a Z28. <laughs> and you still, I mean, you race a Camaro. Running in the Trans Am series. Yeah. And a Camaro, and, and it's just amazing. Yeah. Just a, I, I love Camaros, just always have. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about this car. Is it an all original car? It's been painted, it's been restored. Okay. I would say pretty much it's exactly the way it came out of the factory. Maybe a little bit nicer, but it's not an over restored car. It was somebody who had, I bought it from somebody who had loved it for years. Yeah. They kept really good care of it. You know, original engine, transmission, everything. It's a 302, right? Yeah, 302 matching numbers. And, and so I, I'm guessing it's a four speed. That's yeah, a four speed. Okay, so on the freeway, you're just, wow, screaming. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I've taken it for runs up to the hills, the canyons, like short runs around my house, you know, in Hollywood. And then today, you know, we're driving it. And when I got on the freeway, I reached to shift into fourth and I realized I was in fourth already. So <laughs> it's kind of like got high gears. You know, I could use a fifth gear for long trips, but yeah. hey, this is, this is the way it is. It's a pony car yeah. and it's real prancy, you know? Yeah. And, you know, the affiliation for me with this, which I didn't know, is growing up driving a, a Camaro and, you know, running a 302 in it. This is the Trans Am. This is where Trans Am started. Right. In 1966, it started. Then the first Camaro to come out was in 67, 68, 69. They were extremely successful. Yeah. And that little bad boy 302 is what it's still based on. A small block Chevy or Ford or yeah. Chrysler or... And yeah. that's what we still run to this day. Yeah. We make a little more horsepower now. Yeah, just a, <laughs> just a little. So explain Z28 RS SS. What are all the different elements that come together to make that? So there was a, there was a Z28 and then there was the RS SS. The Z28 usually didn't come with the hidden headlights. The rally package is what it is, right? Okay. I'm sure that the SS and the RS had some suspension upgrades. Mm -hmm. some engine upgrades, but the Z28 was the top. Right. So all together, when you can find a Z28 RS SS, it was all, everything that you could order in a car, and this is what, this is what this you is got. This is what it is. Yeah. Do you, do you know what the horsepower is on this car? You know, I'm not quite sure, but I know it's in, it's, it's, I think 450. Okay. 450. And a modern Trans Am car will make 850 to right. 875 now. Sure, so. sure. I bought it this way. But this is the original color code. An American car, you know, you're going to see little flaws here and there. This is not like some show car. I drive it, sure. which will you'll see pretty soon how I drive it. Yeah, yeah, I can. I know you well enough. I mean, Tommy owns a real '67 Cobra, or like a real '67 Cobra. <laughs> And I'm in the passenger seat, no seatbelt on, because I'm expecting we're gonna go cruising. And the friggin' guy, first thing he does, donuts. Okay, okay. It freaked great. me out. I was not expecting that in that. It was I mean, great. That's a, it was great. That's a big dollar car. So let's look over here at the interior, Tommy. Wow, look at this, man. It's pretty clean. Talk about just it's like pretty kind clean. of time capsule it's a time stuff, capsule. you know? Just beautiful though, man. Thanks, the man. color combo is so right on it too. I mean, that's so iconic. Yeah, I really wanted GM, to share it. I really know? wanted to share it with you guys. I lean way more towards either modified or full ground up yeah. customs where yeah. the body comes oh, yeah. off, the frame gets thrown away, you, you put Art Morrison <laughs> or something underneath. Like I really obsess on that stuff, but there are some original numbers matching cars like this. And you actually have a few of them that are, that are to me like as cool as the modified Excellent. as the customs, you know, I mean, this is a special one. Well, man, I want to know what it feels like to go for a ride in Let's this thing and to, and to feel like a 1969 car that's as rare as this one is. 
I'm always up for a drive. And this time I'm putting the belt on because I do not trust, actually I totally trust him to do exactly what I'm expecting. <laughs> Just be prepared, jackass mode might show up right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we're excited to announce that we've got merch. We've got this really cool black shirt with orange logo design. We've got a gray shirt with black logo design. We've got trucker hats. We've got flex fit hats. We've got a sticker pack. And my favorite item, we've got a keychain. All right, you guys, let's go for a drive. better with you man there's no there's no such thing as like going for a cruise with you crack me up dude you are just so funny you are just such a driver you've been like this your whole life huh you are just hilarious dude i just love cars man this thing motors I mean, for a freaking 1969 all original yeah. car, dude, this thing gets down. Drive it right off the showroom floor like this. Boy, imagine in 1969 how yeah. intense this car was, huh? Really visceral. Yeah. You know, it's uh, no traction, no car, granny assist. The cars of today are amazing, but uh, in order to get that feeling from them, I mean, you really got to be flying. Yeah, you do. Uh, with this, you know, you can drive it slow, you can cruise, yep. go to the canyons, drive Have down fun. the freeway. <laughs> I've said this a few times, but you are definitely my hero. Nice. Friggin' Camaro. Stop. If that didn't get you guys fired up, I don't know what will. Awesome, that was perfect. We can go park it, dude. You don't need to beat on it anymore. Or maybe you do. <laughs> God. Wait, hang on, Tommy. Hang on. We're plugged in. Don't go too far, buddy. I'm all hyped out. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta hang get on. out of the car before I Hang on. No, blow wrong up. one. Wrong one. Get, get, out the get the hell away. Get out of here. All right, you guys. That's it for our shoot with our buddy Tommy Dreezy and his incredibly badass 69 Camaro. This is, you know, this is a total time capsule car, highly valuable. And Tommy is just a true enthusiast and a race car driver, and he cannot help himself but to throw down, shred some tires, and have some fun, which I think is so cool because too many people own a car like this and some of the others that Tommy owns that are highly valuable cars. They baby them, they sit in garages, they never get driven, the tires get flat spotted. And I love, absolutely love that Tommy drives his cars and drives them hard, man. I just think it's so cool. So hope you guys had fun with us here at Lucas Oil 
and Tommy Dreezy's beautiful 69 Z28RS. Just a wonderful car. Thanks for hanging, watching, supporting what we do. I really appreciate it, you guys. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.